All right. It says it's starting right now. It says it's live right now. Let's go. Hey, everyone. I'm Kimberly Ann Campbell, and I voice Lesser Lord Kusanali, a.k.a. Nahida. How's the this volume? This is my first ever special program, and I can't wait to explore the upcoming content with all of you. Well, What's up, everybody? So my name is Alejandro Saab, and I'm the voice of Sino. Hopefully everyone's gotten to know Sino a little better during this version, and we've Alejandro. still got plenty of Sino coming our way <laughs> in the upcoming version, too. And I'm sure lots of travelers are super excited to see what version 3.2 has in store for us. So let's jump right in and start with our new version trailer. Let's All do right, it. let's do it. I'm so excited. This is going to be good. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. We have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Yes. Huh? Did I just see something dart by? Having the doctor gone benefits Dia. him as My well beloved. as us. Dude, Dottore looks so menacing. <sighs> Amazing. Yo. Huge spoilers, so by the way. I haven't played this yet. To walk out of that cage with my own body. Yes! Playable Nahida. Yeah. Oh my god, she's so cute! <laughs> Those attacks are adorable. Hey! Wait, she's just March 7th. Make yourself at home! She's literally yeah. just March 7th! But now doesn't seem to be the time to indulge in this feeling. Oh my god, adorable. Hey, it's Layla! Is it too late for an extension? Her voice. Huh. I love no, her. No. Star, She's. Shine for me. She's so sleepy, just like me for real. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh? So. You think this no. is over? <laughs> no. Wait. No. Wait, don't cry. It's so sad. That's the secret hidden by Ermin's soul concerning the truth of this world. No shot. Are we the learning? The has already, already become a god? Huh? No wonder your own people have abandoned you, god of wisdom. Oh, shot. At my command, you shall fall. Multiple elements? My endless Yo? cycle begins. Your ploy was to sacrifice the traveler here. No, was shot. Not? Nilu. That looks are insane. Are you sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. Nilu? I... I must admit that I'm a little scared. Dude, but that's insane. I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dia, my beloved. Ahithim's uh, plan is even more radical than I imagined. Brothers, let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. Ooh, okay. Bizarre. Aether. You betrayed all of Sumeru. Betrayed its Archon. Creating a god. We are using human <laughs> wisdom to create a god. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. This is Come insane. and inaugurate my birth as a god. Holy shit. Golden Glow is back. No way, dude. Okay, so that's why he had the Gnosis, obviously. We knew that was going to happen, right? Like... Bro had the Gnosis. We knew he could just ascend to God, but like he's using Cryo in there. So that's kind of nuts. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Scaramouche boss fight. Let's go. It reminds me of, um, there's a certain enemy in Honkai that reminds me of uh, one of the bosses. I can't remember, but it, it reminds me of that. I'm wondering how much we're actually going to learn about, uh, about things lore wise. Like, like, how much about the world and the time loop are we going to learn? All right. Thank you for posting the code in chat. Yeah, guys, make sure to grab that. Hersher of Domination. That's what it was. Husk Nihilus. Yes, Husk Nihilus. That's what it is. Yes, yeah, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate that. 
Heck yeah. I'm so... That is gonna be so fun. Finally. Another boss. So, we've got a to lot to unpack us. from that trailer. Yeah. After experiencing the Subzerus Festival, Samsara, and surviving our journey through the desert, we'll finally get to the riveting end of the Sumeru Archon Quest in version 3.2. Picking up right where we left off, the Traveler is teaming up with some amazing characters to face the Academia and rescue Sumeru's Archon. But I'm sure the first thing everyone's wondering is how we're going to save the Dendro Archon. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Nahid has been Archon locked up quest? by the Doctor oh inside the Sanctuary of Suristana. It's not like we can just go walking in there. And on top of that, we're Fair. dealing with two of the Fatui Harbingers now. The We've Fatui got the Balladeer in his super powerful looking boss form. As well the, as the doctor, he got seems you. to be a real tricky one to predict. I'm not gonna lie, the traveler really has his hands full with this one. Yeah, oh boy. definitely a tricky situation. I can't wait to do the, uh, the three point two quest. Besides these two harbingers, or the three point one sure quest, the Grand Sage will also be on his guard. Uh, but hey, with the help of two insiders like Sino and All Hate Them, we might just have a way into the academia. Well, as the General Mahamatra, Sino also has his own agenda. After being tracked and predicted by the Academia for all these years, this might just be his chance to settle the score. And Yo. if we're hoping to truly save he's gonna Samaru, 1v1 we'll a teacher. need the power of the Dendro Archon to help us. Yeah, I can't wait to see how everyone's hard work and coordination plays out. And I don't know about you guys, but besides saving Nahida, I'm also curious how we're going to save Ermansoul. Plus, we still don't know the meaning yeah, the fact behind that we're the words that Greater Lord left us. Right at 3.2 is interesting. Forget me. <laughs> well, travelers will because be able we have to personally five more unravel patches, the probably, answers to all right? these questions in their own journeys through version 3.2. You know, I'm actually kind of curious what the future for Sumeru will be once they get through all of this and, well, you know, what will happen to the crew we've been working with along the way? Yeah, yeah, same. I just hope things will work out for everyone affected by Elazar, like Dunyarzad and Kale. Oh, and is that foreshadowing? the desert dwellers who have been Are they foreshadowing? these years... There's a lot that needs to change for them, too. Right. So be sure this not to miss chapter 5 100%. of the Archon Quest. Akasha pulses, the Kulpa flame rises. It'll have you be seen the, uh, the, ride, the theory that Elazar is, it. like, yeah. what's and turning people course, into Elitrals? And that's just the human the name for it? Everyone's journey in Sumeru. There are still many puzzles and mysteries waiting to be solved. Whether it's Lesser Lord Kusanali, the Doctor, or if that's the already been proven, I'm, I'm sorry. I I've think been told there's that still might theory. be lots of unexpected things waiting to be uncovered. Yes. Now, it's surely they don't awesome. kill Kale. No way. Okay. So now that we've talked about some of the storyline, maybe we can talk about that massive mechanical looking puppet we've seen. That's the god that the Academia has been creating. Oh, boy. That's right. And now that you mentioned it, god. let's talk about the Balladeer boss battle. Whew, this boss looks tough. Oh, that's. The doctor must have put a I'm lot so excited. of energy into this. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, so fun. The balladeer has lots of strong and Surely awesome I won't just kill it in one so clip with you and me. start by checking out some gameplay from the new boss battle. Well, they can't make Sound it like too good. hard though. So honestly, Ooh. probably we'll just end up one clipping it with you and me. Yo. Okay. This goes hard. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Husk Nihilus. Wait, Hersher of the Void. Okay. This looks insane to fight. Oh, wow. Just look at the Holy size of it. Holy shit. Pretty sure this boss is going to push travelers to okay, the limit. Okay, you know what's yeah, really no cool? I'm kidding. I mean, that thing is huge. They, uh, I'm going to turn them down just like a tad bit. This is like bit. the third Fatui Harbinger so, boss battle we've had. They really keep stepping up the art and design every time. It's, it's so interesting. Awesome. I feel like they keep yeah, adding for so all the Fatui cool. Harbingers. They this keep adding like a male choir. Puppet we're going or like a male chorus. Here. So we're talking huge attacks and epic moves. Let's break it down a bit. In the first phase of the battle, the Balladeer will use his massive arms I mean, could to one attack shot put her in. The arms True. are capable of utilizing different elemental powers, and there are several types of abilities, 
including attacks that create fields of burning or freezing effects on the ground. This is oh, interesting. Oh, you know what? This fight kind of reminds me of when we fight Ruin Guards. I think we'll have to come up with a way to paralyze it. Right! And you might have noticed there are some arcane formations on the ground, so activating those might trigger some interesting effects. And oh, that's actually cool. a lot of people cool. are wondering what that thing is floating next to us. Not gonna lie, it's, it's kind of cute. Been. Oh, maybe it's a Paimon reskin. <laughs> Nahida. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but no. Not only is it super cute, but it's also super powerful. Travelers will need to charge energy for this little helper and use okay. a special skill to counter the boss in battle. Wait, do a I have to like have it equipped or will it just be there? Yeah, that's definitely not Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> Once the I think I like it more than Paimon. It actually helps. Form, our usual attacks won't deal any tangible damage to him. So the only thing capable of breaking through his defenses will be our little helper that we just mentioned. Yo. There will even be some moments in the fight where Huge. travelers will need to use an aiming mode to attack the boss's weak points. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Who would have guessed that little thing would be so oh important God. against a boss? That seems so powerful. <laughs> I know, right? They also use some amazing special effects for all of the balladeer's moves. Speaking of which, the cosmic appearance, the spacey special effects of his skills really kind of remind me of the Raiden Shogun skills. Oh, Raiden Shogun? Right. I, you know, I definitely get kind of like different different vibes from that. Check out this new boss okay, battle. considering they're using so multiple right. elements, yeah. does that mean that they're... So now that we've covered the new boss bit. battle, I think it's time to introduce right. the okay, first no. of our characters, new playable characters. characters coming in version 3.2. Let's welcome Lesser Lord Kusanali, a.k.a. Nahida. Yay! Yay! Finally! <laughs> Finally, After we get to know what she does. we've experienced in the story so far, I think Nahida's already like a good friend to us. It's seriously so crazy what we've True. been through. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that, Zach. Okay, so throughout our journey, moved, no. maybe everyone's already noticed some of the... unique... yeah, let's call it that. Unique metaphors that Nahida likes to use. And yeah, True. they can be pretty out there. Or sometimes she'll use really childlike language to describe some deep or profound idea. But the truth hmm. is, she has yet to set foot in the outside world since she was born. To her, oh. all the knowledge that she has in her mind is like pieces of scenery that she's never seen with her own eyes. Totally. Interesting. It's really hard to imagine that the god of wisdom had been locked up for 500 years. Uh, it just makes me upset just thinking about it. How long does it take it. a god to age? But I'm sure everything will work out sooner or later. Hmm. If travelers would like to spend more time with Nahida, story then be quest? sure to check okay. out Nahida's story quest. Sapientia I'll add that to my list of quests chapter. that I still have done. The quest will be available upon completing the Sumeru Archon quest. So Anyways. be sure to check out the quest to learn more. <laughs> it's nice that we'll get to spend more time with I her. just want to know if she have ICD or no. I in battle. What you got for us, what if, what if they gave her no ICD oh, and, and good dendro application? Share. Then what? But before we get to that, let's have a quick peek at Nahida in action. This what is what I'm waiting for. True. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful it is. I'm turning them down just a tad bit. Her normals are so cute. Grow, grow, grow. Oh my gosh, she, yeah, she's March 7th, guys. She takes a little picture. So she marks them. They get marked. Looks like they explode with dendro damage and they get a mark on them. Oh, wow. so there we go. Aww. Look at her. I love her. <laughs> Aw, little Nate is so cute. I love how she hops around when she's fighting. Oh, and her swing too. <laughs> so what's that skill that looks like she's using a viewfinder or something? <laughs> that seems Came pretty here different. Official yeah. Genshin channel. Okay, Pause. so let's start with her viewfinder-ish kind of skill, which is mm. actually her elemental skill. As a catalyst user, Nahida's combat style is pretty. Yes. Unique. You may cast her elemental skill by tapping the skill button, or Wait, you may hold the button to enter a naming mode. That was a lot of blooms. Opponents who are selected while aiming will be linked by Nahida's special mark. Are they going to talk about After ICD? You trigger elemental reactions on opponents who are linked, and when they take damage from dendro cores. Nahida will unleash Tri Karma Purification, dealing dendro damage. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I love how it's like connected. They're trying to the sell Nilu. 100% they're trying Ooh. to sell Nilu right Outside now before the patch combat, is over. Nahida can use her elemental skill and enter the aiming mode we just mentioned to interact with certain harvestable items, allowing her to collect wait. items directly to the inventory from a distance. What? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Being able to harvest materials like that is going to be so hacks. cool. 
That'll really save us some time. How far, how yeah. far can I harvest this from? This skill may also have some additional uses, so travelers will have to give it a try themselves and see. Ooh, okay. Nahida's elemental burst is where things get really interesting. Upon unleashing her burst, Nahida manifests the oh, core. This is so dreams, pretty. Wait, this is huge. Field. That's pretty amazing. The effect really That's does massive, look dude. like some royal court or palace. Yeah, different effects will be produced based on whether there are pyro, electro, and hydro oh, so, characters yeah. in the party. While Nahida like is within MC. the special field, a pyro member in the party will increase the damage of Tri-Karma Purification. An electro party member will That's decrease the intervals at which Tri-Karma Purification is triggered, and a hydro okay. party member will cause the duration of the field to be increased. Hmm. If there are oh, at least two gosh. party members of the elemental types I just mentioned, then the effects will be increased further. She's wow. gonna be an insane support. Mind right now. She's gonna be well, so we need insane. To focus on which effects uh, we want to achieve, and put some thought into our. Seems kind of broken. I'm not gonna lie. How long does that mark last? The key thing to remember is that these effects can be triggered while Nahida is not on the battlefield, as long as the active character remains in the special field radius. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Also, they're so. In addition to Nahida, we have one other character joining us in version 3.2. Let's go. And that's right. She is a very it is her. Academia it is the queen. Student. Her name is Layla. Queen Layla. In most days, she looks super tired and anxious, which seems to be a direct result of her relentless struggle with her studies. Yeah, and not only Good is she her. frail and anxious looking, she's just like but me she for real. Astrology. So it's no wonder people <laughs> around her might like consider me. her a little oh, strange like and me. mysterious. Mm. And even though she's always groaning about her studies, she's so pretty. Most of Layla's research work is actually fine overall. It's just her lack of confidence that's really holding her back. Ah, uh, yes. And that's Standard. when her unusual Standard ability for Genshin comes Impact. into play. And her ability is... sleepwalking. <laughs> yeah. Oh? While she is sleeping, Layla unleashes her true self, Edge. allowing her to regain the confidence she needs and activate the talents and strengths she's had all along. As soon as she starts sleepwalking, she has, they haven't showed skills yet, guys. No don't worry if you got that. Like the monumental tasks they were, and she completes them in no time. <laughs> in no this time. Is definitely something only Layla can do. Our viewers shouldn't try to do this with their own homework. <laughs> but does Layla uh, have any? If you're in college, you know, you know the struggle. Sleepwalking. I mean, does she know that she has this ability? Uh, she seems to be aware of it. <laughs> The papers are obviously full of her handwriting, after all. But there have been some weird instances. For example, once during crunch time while researching, she sleepwalked and climbed the wall of Salmio, and then randomly bumped into Candace. Monka, Such what? occurrences have made her start to wonder what's really going on. <laughs> Layla's and bitch, literally. And aside from her sleepwalking, just like any other student, Layla has many typical things that she hopes to achieve, as well as some regrets. She wants to be able to make friends and... Go out and have fun. Do it. But it seems Wake like up. she'll never be able to do any of that until <laughs> she graduates. Unlucky. Hmm. I'll hang and out with Layla when actually, she graduates. I'm guessing that she uses her sleepwalking abilities in combat too, right? <laughs> you bet. Let's have a look at Layla in combat. Sweet. Let's do it. Talk us later. Thanks for the sub. I love her. Oh wait, she has a little AOE on her attack. It looks like it at least. Yeah, that's definitely AOE. I love her design. She's so cute. All right, she'll be. It almost looks like she's sleeping while being protected by the shield. This shield she not just only goes to Layla, sleep, but also creates nice you shield while it is active. When a character protected by the shield uses an elemental skill, more night stars will be created. Once four night stars have been accumulated, they will transform into homing shooting stars, dealing oh. damage to any opponent's hit. Ooh. I wonder if the damage ah, is good. Night With Shenha, I love how her skills have a starry theme. Could, could be good damage. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, throughout the skill's duration, each time a night star is accumulated, the shield strength will increase. This effect can stack up to a maximum of four times. Whoa, 
Layla's elemental burst unleashes a Dream Sphere that constantly okay. fires starlight slugs at opponents within its AOE, while also generating night stars for Layla's shield. I see. I see As you. As a talented Ratawa, his student, Layla also comes in handy when crafting. When Layla crafts character talent <laughs> materials, she has a set chance to receive double the product. Ah, nice. Sweet. Anyway, when That's can travelers expect to see these new characters available in-game? Great question. That brings us to our new event wishes. In the early part of version 3.2... Wait a second, sorry, that took available. me a second. What? In the later part huh? of the version, we'll be seeing rerun event wishes for Yaimiko and Tartaglia, and what? Layla will become available for the first time. Also, a new five-star weapon, a thousand floating dreams, will be appearing in the new weapon event wish. Oh, nice. Yoimi is back? By the way, I've heard that Layla's been getting ready recently to participate in Sumeru's Beast Tamer it's tournament. It's so early. But it's it's literally so that, early. I think it's time for us to take another break. We'll be back with the latest info yes, on a Please take a break so I can fucking talk. Update. Oh my god. I know what you're thinking. It's time for Redemption Code. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, you guys Boo. get it? All right, I've, I've had enough. I know. Boo. Uh, Boo. All right. Bad Boo. jokes. What? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to try to say as many things as I can. First off, our guardian, uh, I'm not doing art uh, during this, so I'm going to have to redeem, or I'm going to have to give you back your points. Um, Holy shit. Okay, so you want me a rerun? This early is kind of insane, and I can't believe they did her dirty like this three times. They ran her between Ayaka and, or Kokomi and A or something. No, it was it was Ayaka and A the first time. So between an Archon and one of the most highly sought after characters since uh since beta, and then they ran her with Kazuha, who was one of the most sought after characters, and then they run her next to Nahita. She's doomed, dude. She's doomed. She's not. Oh my god. They they hate her so much. They hate her so much. I can't believe this. Also, uh, Child and Miko are coming back. Yai is a lot better with uh, with Dendro, but keep in mind, guys, every Electro character got better with Dendro. Um, so, like, it's not like Yai is some like insanely busted unit now. Welcome back to the version three point two special program, everyone. But Child's Next, good. we'll take a look at some of the new events for the coming update. An amazing fungus competition is about to begin in the lands of Sumeru. Not only has it attracted local competitors from Sumeru, but also spectators from other nations. Uh, a uh, fungus competition? Uh, how does fungus that even competition. Work? Aren't fungi dangerous? I They're always fun. attacking us in the wild. <laughs> I know it sounds a little weird, but you'll love it. I'm not in accepting this, contest, this free dory. Participants will use a <laughs> special <laughs> gadget called a wisdom orb. To I'm not catch accepting and it. Train their fungi and participate in battle events. Although the fungi often pose as little troublemakers for us in the wild, I'm literally not accepting using this Fridori. gadget will allow travelers to establish a certain level of communication with them. Okay, so if I catch and train a Jade Plume Terror Shroom, then I should be pretty much unstoppable, right? Oh no, come on, that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> in this event, travelers will be able to sneak up on fungi in some certain areas to catch them. Unfortunately, the Jade Plume Terror Shroom is not one of those areas, Kimberly. Aww. If you end up startling them, they'll flee until they are outside a set distance. After catching different kinds of fungi, you can follow Paimon's suggestion and give them cute names. But most importantly, you will have to train your fungi. That sounds fun. Travelers will have to use special floral jelly ingredients to mix and form blends that your fungi enjoy and unlock their true potential. While mixing ingredients, you use copy, switch, and rotate functions, and place a preset formula you have in Those the little jello spot. Cute. Aw, it looks kind of like jelly. I bet Paimon's going to be all over that. Hey, Paimon wouldn't ever do that! <laughs> well, I can tell why you didn't book Pokemon that Pokemon <laughs> Go Among Us. And with all these different kinds of fungi, they should have different abilities, right? Yeah, so to work on their abilities, we'll use something Turn called based the combat. Special Training Mode. In this mode, there will be two challenge types, Coordinated Assaults and Zone Defense. Travelers will be able to command their fungi's abilities, have them coordinate their attacks against a single target, and control them to defend the Ley Line Monolith. That's really Aww, funny. so cute. <laughs> This is going to be so much fun. I okay, when wait. can I have this yeah, in the overworld, either. though? As for the rewards, in addition to Primo Gems and various materials, once travelers have reached a certain phase of the event, they will also be able to summon the great and almighty merchant, Dory. And Layla will be appearing in the event storyline. 
as well Yo. as a familiar visitor from Layla? another nation. Hmm. Let's go. Any idea who it could be? Stop. Supposedly a fun guy. Hmm? Stop. Hmm? Uh. <laughs> okay, I see what you did there. I respect it. Hmm. Let's leave that for travelers to discover themselves. I in the don't want oh, okay. Fridori. Okay. Take, take Next them up, away. We have a change of pace with an all new trials event. For this event, travelers will have to use characters' special abilities to complete specific objectives. For example, you may have to knock trials? slimes into the goal by triggering an Yo, that looks reaction fun. with Yen Phase and Klee's attacks. That or looks use fun. Galon's elemental skill to move I'm quickly down. and dodge giant <laughs> pinballs. Here are some others. Use Xiao's plunging attack to send platforms back to the ground, or use Beto's elemental okay. skill to hit the ball. That's uh, that seems this fun. This sounds like some pretty unusual training. Yeah, and to make things even more interesting, free Layla, this event never. will support co-op gameplay. Oh, hmm. this sounds like it'll be a lot of fun to watch. Well, dude, that's gonna but be that's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Maybe we Good events. Yet. No worries, we got you covered. All the corresponding characters will be provided Actually as trial fun event and challenges. Ah, no, it also looks so good. In addition to these events, version 3.2 will also feature an event for our players to put their skills to the test. This it's time, back! We'll have a new edition of I the Hypostatic Symphony. Symphony event. Nice. So, what changes can travelers expect this time around? A lot the of people don't like this event. The most notable change, of course, will be the addition of I like the new this Dendro event. Hypostasis. That's right, the last member of the Hypostasis family will be officially landing in version 3.2. Besides serving as a new open world boss, the Dendro Hypostasis will also be busy performing alongside its fellow Hypostases in the Hypostatic Symphony event. This oh, they're gonna have the Dendro one travelers too. Travelers will be facing challenges featuring the Dendro, Oh, Bio, only the new cubes, Pyro, only the ones that aren't standard. Hypostases. Before each challenge, travelers may select a buff effect to use. Fearless. However, as you increase the I only play on extreme. The number of uses will decrease and the enemies will become more challenging. So it'll be super important for travelers to plan the right moment to use these effects. Bro, uh, just Zhongli so pillared what into the cryo do we one. Have once we run out of buffs. Wait, Yormia's gonna roll this guy. And potions from their inventory. Yormia one clips easy solo. No gem rewards, then don't worry. You won't need to up the difficulty too much. <sighs> okay, good to know. Whew. I, for one, will definitely not be upping the difficulty. <laughs> and just like before, you may tackle the challenges Man. together with your friends Permanent once they have joined your world. Match. Slam stable. Oh, yeah. Now that we've covered the challenge event, let's take a quick look at a couple more casual events coming our way in the new update. More casual First, events? We'll be finding inspiration for an illustrator in the Outside the Canvas, Inside the Lens event. Really and once one. again, we'll be working together with Lieben in Marvelous Merchandise. It's also worth mentioning here that some Lieben. optimizations have been made for the photo event this time around. Everyone there will be able to select from some preset angles and can make use of oh, the okay. rotate and focus functions to take better Me. pictures. <laughs> That's great. While you're out taking pictures, you may run into some interesting storylines along the way. So be sure not oh. to miss outside the canvas, That's inside cool. the lens. Man, I love these kinds of events. Sign me up. Yeah, Can't wait to see too. what kind of weird, In funky things people events, come up with. We also have some news on system-related updates and optimizations. I'm really excited about the first of these, which is yeah. regarding the Serena Teapot. Starting with version 3.2, the Serena Teapot will be adding the long-awaited replication system. Yo! Wow, that's super amazing. Yeah. This feature will allow travelers That's to use cool. sharing codes to bring designs from other travelers' teapots and implement them in their own. That's neat. Or I think that's really their good. Own teapot designs. I now know you there can may just be some travelers out there samples, who have seen some basically. amazing teapot designs that they've wanted to also create themselves, but didn't have the ability or time to make it. With this new function, travelers will be able to bring that creativity back to their More own teapot. More update on teapot, no update on Abyss. Yeah, I mean, you guys knew that, though. Get ready to hit up your friends with amazing teapot skills. Oh, I can't wait to see everyone sharing their designs. I Especially can't complain about, like, quality me. of life stuff. I think this is a good one. <laughs> Which brings us to our final update to share with everyone. For those of us that can't this build, like me. This one is regarding the game's available languages. Starting with version 3.3, which will be the update following this one, Genshin Impact will be adding Turkish and Italian to the game oh, language cool. settings. So players who congratulations to see the games text uh, UI in those languages can look forward those to Those of you who the feast on spaghetti, congratulations. From all over the world can enjoy the game and start their own journeys through the world of Tabak. 
For further details, please Italiano. check into Impact's official channels and keep an eye out for future announcements and info. Wow, we've covered a ton of stuff. I don't know enough about it's Turkey. It's a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, isn't it so now is yeah, probably that's a great time for I'm our last actually. redemption code. The oh, Philippines. Yeah, let's go. There's a massive Filipino player base, so I'm surprised. All right, new redemption code, guys. Make sure to grab that. Uh, also, if a math teacher has five bottles in one hand and six in the other, what does he have? Guys, I just want to... He has... He has a drinking problem. This is serious. This is, this is a serious dad joke. Um. <clears throat> Anyways. No, honestly, like, I, I'm a little... I'm a little bummed about, uh, about, you know, no new, like, permanent endgame, but, like, we kind of, we expected it, right? We're also getting TCG next, uh, 3.3, I think, is TCG. So, I, I, I don't know. I, th I think it's, <sighs> look, I might just be coping, but I think it's fine. It's what I expected, and so, like, I don't feel disappointed about it. Uh, also, Layla is so freaking pretty. She is so freaking pretty, guys. Well, everyone, I think we've covered just about everything coming our way in version 3.2. But it was an elf, yeah. We've arrived at the end of our special program. The end uh, already? This was I fun. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, we covered a ton of stuff. So much stuff. Yeah, yeah. So much so stuff. So many events, too. <laughs> but the most, like, the thing that I'm most excited about is, of course, Nahi the playable character, Nahi the playable character, Nahi the playable character. <laughs> Obviously. Nice. Yeah, for me, it was definitely the Baladir. Dude, it, it looks Yo, so Baladir does look sick. Insane. I am excited. Yes. It's going to be a smaller no patch, idea. though. I'm do that. <laughs> this patch will be smaller. The yeah, patch after no, that will be pretty me, big oh with the TCG. Uh, so many things. Battling the Dendro, Hypostasis, and of course, the Fabulous Fungus Frenzy getting my little fungi and battling with them and you know the teapot Passing patch, the yeah. teapot I'm so bad. Like so I can't wait to get on it. get some design. I think three point three will be like least, really you know, big. Get some get some inspiration uh from getting a, another teapot design. <laughs> <laughs> and just as we mentioned earlier, even oh, though the Samaro Archon quest will be reaching its final chapter here, surely it most definitely won't be the end of our journey in Samaru. In our story this time, we'll be encountering some interesting and mysterious content, and I hope it will be an amazing experience for all of our travelers. I'm sure it will. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon be with all of you. See you in game, everyone. Bye. See. Just... <laughs> Not Sino getting cut off. Not Sino getting entirely cut off. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was actually okay. I'm so hyped about that. There's so many good things coming in the patch. You have Nahida. You have Layla, which I'm just excited for because I have some plans to try to make Layla like deal damage because she's pretty and so therefore she has to deal damage. Uh, but also Nahida is, or Nahida, Nahida, na, it, you know what I mean, Teresa. She looks nuts. She actually kind of looks like, I mean, because we don't have better Dendros, she kind of is power creep for Dendro. Like low key, like that's that's Dendro power creep, uh, which is cool. I'm really excited. I hope that she's just really broken, like busted, no ICD on her skill. I hope her skill lasts forever. It looks like the marks last for a really long time. Uh, do we do we have the codes? Yeah, we have the codes. Um, I'm just gonna copy paste what I had in my Discord here. Um, I but yeah, I'm I'm super excited. It's gonna be awesome. It's going to be a fantastic patch for people trying to experiment with Dendro things and other characters. I guarantee you they showed off all this Nahida stuff to try to get you to uh, roll for Nilu though. They they had Kokumi there and then they had uh, they had Singchal there and they were showing that you can run multiple hydro units uh, and, and like and Nahida and like uh, make tons of blooms. You guys saw how many blooms they were proking. So it, it was nuts. They're really trying to sell Nahida and they're really trying to sell Nilu. Uh, and I, you know, if you have Nilu, this seems like a character that you're going to want to pick up for sure. 100%, you're going to want to pick up this character ASAP. Not even a word about the TCG. TCG, will, uh, we'll, get, we'll start getting drops about the TCG soon, I'm sure. Nahida does look insane. She looks actually crazy. She looks crazy levels of powerful. I'm excited, though. It's going to be a good patch. A good, good filler patch. Uh, Five-week cycle. 
Then we go back to six week cycles and that'll be when the TCG arrives, which means we'll have some stuff to do. The events look kind of fun this batch. I'm not going to lie. I'm not like a huge person that's into events all the time, but I'm pretty excited for this event or these events. I will not fall for their trap. What, what trap are we talking about? What's the patch out? Patch is out next Tuesday. Not this Tuesday, next Tuesday. More safe to pull than Nilu? Yes. If you pulled Nilu, I think that now he does a safe pull. And also, if you guys want to learn how to build uh, Layla, come, come check out the stream. Come back to stream. If you guys have questions about the new characters once we know more about them, come back to stream. Come ask questions. I love talking with you guys about builds and stuff. So, uh, In the meantime, guys, I'm going to take off. I got to go upload this video uh, to get this video up as fast as possible. But if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to follow uh, and consider coming by next time. I, I really appreciate you guys being here to watch with me today. It's like the, it's like the airline thing where they're like, thank you for choosing Air, uh, Delta Airlines. Uh, we, we enjoy being your, your number one choice for, for flight. I, I, you know, thank you for choosing Braxophone Twitch stream. <laughs> I'll, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, get some sleep if you need it and I'll catch you later.